to their handheld massager. And if you remember a couple weeks ago, we featured the mini massager. And if you bought that product, great. It is a wonderful tool. In fact, yesterday, after a day of exercise classes, I was experiencing a little hip pain, and I used that to get in there and break it up, and voila, this morning, the pain was gone. So let's explore the differences, or what makes this difference. And I can think of three things. Right out of the gate, you'll notice that it has a long handle, which has a nice silicone grip, and is ergonomically built, so it's easy to handle. But with this handle, for people with mobility or range of motion problems, it's able to reach a little bit further, for instance, down the shoulders and your back, and down your lower back, right? Can reach in there. Sometimes in the morning, if my pain remains in my feet and I wanna massage it out, I'm a little stiff in the hips and can't reach that foot actually. So you can take this and use that sitting down, hitting those spots or standing up. So that is great. Another thing I noticed is the settings allow it to be a little bit milder massage. And why this might be good is if you have, for instance, delicate skin, that can bruise or tear easily, or some very tender muscles, you might want something not quite as powerful as some of the other massage guns out there. Third is the price. This massage gun is half the price of what the other ones are. It runs anywhere from $40 to $50 when you find it on the internet. And that is great if you're not going to be using it all the time. Let's say you're just going to use it when you have an injury or after surgery. You don't have to feel guilty about 100, 120 bucks lying around because it's only 40 to $50, which makes it also a great price point if you want to give a massager for a gift. So let's look at the features of this massage, handheld massager. It has its own holder, which is nice. You know me, I love when it comes with a book of instructions. So if I'm experiencing something I don't understand, I can just look it up. Has its own charging cord, which once you plug it in and charge it, it'll run for 150 minutes. No batteries needed after that. And you won't get tangled up in a cord while you're using it. This handheld massager is very quiet, so that if you want to use it, say, while the TV, TV is on and the family's watching, you won't be interrupting them. And it comes with five attachments, which is great because each one works a little bit differently. So let's look at first the speeds. When I turn it on, it has five speeds. It's set at two, and you can lower it or you can increase it five different speeds, depending on what you're looking for. Also has five modes, starting with the one it was on, which continuously vibrates, and then intermittent vibrating. So you kind of have to listen to what your body responds to. You can make that work faster, right? And by pressing in, you can control the intensity all the way up to faster and faster. Now let's look at the five heads. It's nice to have options. I have on here, of course, my favorite, which is the round head. It just seems to be so soothing. It feels like an actual massage and I can manipulate it in many different ways. So, what if I want to use something different? What I have is a round head with a point on it so that if I need to dig into any tight areas, I can dig in a little deeper. It has a three-headed attachment and a three-headed intense 
attachment. You kind of have to listen to your body and let it decide which attachment feels best. We're going to try this attachment, which you see is an arch. That's kind of unique. All you do is unscrew that attachment, which is nice because that kind of guarantees that it's not going to fall off while you're using it. And then you attach the other head. This is unique because with this curve, you can use it in a different way. For instance, if my biceps were sore, I can hit those with the massager. If my deltoids are sore, triceps. I have tight forearms that lead into, oh, crabby wrists. And you can use this nicely on your calves. Now, sometimes I will use the other hand to guide it and support it. Because you can see it's not a small tool, right? Even on your hamstrings. So I recommend if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a massage gun, this handheld massager will get the job done. 